Good morning, everybody. It's Raymond Ray from MountainReporter.com, and I'm standing here with Chris Carter, the new PIO starting June 1st for the Arrowhead Area CHP here at the office located in Running Springs. And basically what we want to do, there's a press release that went out from the Highway Patrol about this Memorial Day weekend and a maximum enforcement period. Is that correct? Did I say that right? Okay, because I wasn't sure if it was patrol, program, period, so I knew it was maximum enforcement either way. Maximum enforcement, period, for this weekend. So, uh, as far as that goes, what is the press release about? What is the maximum enforcement period for this weekend? Yeah, so all the major holiday weekends, uh, we have what's called a maximum enforcement period, like you said. Um, it's, when we, it's when we try to put all the officers that are available to work on the road. Uh, patrolling the highways and responding to calls, trying to keep everybody safe. For this Memorial Day, uh, our concentration is on seat belts and the wearing of seat belts, making sure everybody's wearing their seat belts. Obviously, we're still focusing on everything else, uh, driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, speeding, anything like that, but uh, the main focus is seat belts this Memorial Day. Perfect. So basically, what that's saying is that you got to put your seat belts on and uh, as far as it goes with resources on the mountain, will they be bringing extra resources up for the weekend? Are you aware of that? Uh, no additional resources, but all the available officers here on the mountain will be working over the weekend to try to keep everybody safe. Trying to keep everybody safe, and that's what this is all about. Of course, our mountain roads, um, always CHP is looking for different ways to make our roads safer. Um, we saw yesterday there was an accident. We're still not entirely sure what the actual cause of that accident was, but I can tell you that I was on the scene and CHP was there in force ensuring the safety of other drivers uh, as they were passing the scene of that accident. And we've also done some other specials with the current and outgoing PIO, Juan Quintero, who also has uh, advised the public of many things. One of the things that we are definitely looking to make sure everybody remembers is while we're driving through this fog that seems to be plaguing the mountain this year, we want to make sure that if you have automatic headlights on your vehicle, you turn the dial all the way to the on position. Even though you may have daytime running lights or an automatic setting, that ambient light sensor may not actually register that it's foggy. It just sees that it's light and it will not turn the headlights on in your car and your daytime running lights do not activate the tail lights on the vehicle. The only way to ensure that you are doing your part to keep our roads safe is by turning that knob all the way over to the right. Also by wearing your seatbelt this weekend, we want to thank you, Mr. Officer Chris Carter. Thank you, my pleasure. And just one more thing, so between 16 and 17, uh, during the Memorial Day maximum enforcement periods, um, out of all the fatal accidents that CHP covered throughout the state, 70% of the people who died in the car crashes weren't wearing their seatbelt. So it's just a big reminder, as you know, even if you're, it's a short drive or a long drive, it takes two seconds to put your seatbelt on, and it's the law, and it'll keep you safe. Very good. I got to remember that myself. So we'll be talking to you guys soon. Thank you for your time, Officer Carter, and we will talk to you later. This is Raymond Ray from MountainReporter.com at CHP talking about the maximum enforcement period this Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. If there's one thing, one thing. that I know, I know, you better buckle up. Repercussions are no joke. So click it, a ticket. So click, click, click it. If life is what you pick, then do the simple thing and click it. Click it, a ticket. Click it, a ticket. If life is what you pick, you better click, click, click it. I choose life and choose not to speed when I drive. Eyes locked on the road. I don't text when I drive. It could wait. Cause I wanna make it home today. I'm on the freeway, driving no faster than safe. Be safe, cause people can't see you. Use your signal, your mirror, and check in your rear view. Cause accidents happen, no lie. Don't be a dummy. Never have a drink in a drive. So be smart and don't think you can do it. Do it. Yeah, under the influence. So that means don't be drunk or high. That means don't be drunk or high. I said it. So that means don't be drunk or high. That means don't be drunk or high. Uh, yeah. So be safe and wear a seatbelt on the road. Cause the life that you save might be your own. If there's one thing. That I know You better buckle up Repercussions are no joke So click it, a ticket So click, click, click it If life is what you pick, then do the simple thing and click it Click it, a ticket Click it, a ticket If life is what you pick, you better click, click, click it <laughs>
Click it and tick it. Click it and tick it. I like that. This is a message brought to you by the CHP. That's California Highway Patrol. Reminding all you drivers to stay safe and most importantly, buckle up. Thank you.